Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the cabin. I'm just grooving out some Motown music. Anybody want to hear some Motown music today? Oh, yeah. We're going to do that in just a little while. So, uh, thank you, everybody, for being here tonight. My name is Casey Sword, the executive director here at the Cabot. It is wonderful to see so many friends here. Uh, this is our second annual All Access Evening at the Cabot. We, we just started doing this last year, and we had so much fun. We said, let's do it again, but let's do it better. Um, this is a time for us to gather together and let you know what's been happening at the Cabot. It's a pretty long list of things. Um, they're definitely worthy of a party. Um, and we haven't seen a lot of you since um, our big night last April. I know many of you were here when we had Tedeschi Trucks Band and the legendary Mavis Staples. Who rocked, they burnt the house down. I mean, it was amazing this building was still standing after that night. They took us to church. Um, but we've been up to a lot, uh, and the money that we raised from that event has helped us begin our elevator project. This is a critical project for the theater um, and our, our goal to make the cabin accessible to all who come here. Um, and it's not been easy. Uh, putting an elevator in a 102-year-old building is not without its challenges. And uh, Sandy Cook, who is our construction manager, is here tonight. And I want to thank Sandy and the whole crew uh, that have been working on that project. Stefano uh, from SP Design, uh, all the volunteers. It's been an amazing effort so far. Um, and we have a lot of work to do to, keep, to make the cabin more accessible. Um, we have more projects that we need to do. We need to make this entire stage accessible. We need to build an accessible bathroom backstage. So these are all goals that we want to have done by next year. Uh, so we'll be raising more money over the course of the year to do that. Um, on the programming side, uh, we've ramped up our community conversation series. These are all free events for the community on important topics to spark discussion and to drive change in here in the community in Beverly. Uh, we've had community conversations on topics like homeless women veterans, which is a growing problem nationwide. Um, what is gender and why does it matter? Uh, we've also had uh, Coastal Communities Talk Water, where we had environmental groups from all over the North Shore come in and talk about the water supply, and that's, that's a critical issue here. Uh, Green Beverly was part of that uh, great group here in Beverly that we partner with. We've also started a brand new venue here in Beverly. Uh, this is something I personally get very excited about because I like to laugh a lot. Um, as Jason knows, who will be performing later, uh, who's also married to me, um, but we, we love to make people laugh, and we wanted to do it every weekend, so we opened Off Cabot Comedy and Events this past March, right down the street. I know I've seen many of your faces in Off Cabot over the last few months, and we are so excited to be able to bring comedians from all over the country, uh, and from right here in the Boston area, which has an incredible uh, comedic talent, uh, to Beverly every weekend, and that's been going really well. Uh, we all need a little more laughter in our lives. But why are we doing all this stuff? I mean, why, why is the Cabot doing this stuff? And we do it because we have this beautiful historic theater, but we're more than just a beautiful historic theater. We see ourselves as a community asset and a resource to all of you who live here. Uh, it's not just to be a, a place to be entertained, but it's also to be enriched, to be educated, a place where you can meet with your neighbors and your friends, and it's a place to be inspired to do more for your community. And I see many of you here who do so much for our North Shore community, and we're inspired by you, and we want to help others as well. Um, we couldn't do any of this without the leadership of our board, and I'd like to give a heartfelt thank you to Steve Emmerman, who's sitting right in front of me here. He was not planted there. Uh, and Steve has been our chair for the last three years. His wise counsel, deep knowledge, and steady hand led us through the worst of the pandemic. And that was quite something uh, that Steve and I shared together. Um, when he took the gig back in October of 2019, he had no idea what he was in for. Um, but we, we really enjoyed working together and uh, the entire board and staff, we all appreciate everything you've done, Steve. So thank you, Steve. Really appreciate it. We have a new chair coming on. His name is Mark Jaffe. He couldn't be here tonight, and the only reason we let him off the hook is because his daughter is getting married in California on Saturday. Um, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about Mark because he's a, he's a great guy and he's been a great member of our board. Uh, he chaired our first uh, and hopefully last virtual fundraiser, right? I mean, who wants to do more virtual fundraisers? But the one that we did, we think was the coolest one that anybody did because in 2020, we celebrated our 100th birthday. We raised a million dollars for this theater, and we had people like James Taylor, Grace Potter, Judy Collins, and so many more led it. And Mark helped lead that effort. Um, he also led our strategic planning uh, committee last year with Steve. Uh, so we're looking forward to working with Mark and the rest of the board uh, over the next several years. 
Give it up for Steve one more time. Thank you, Steve. As I look at tonight, I see so many people here who have uplifted others. You support other organizations, large and small, that add so much to the fabric of our lives and support people in need. You all make the North Shore a really great place to work, live, and to play. And we're going to play tonight. So tonight, we have a great evening of Motown music curated by the incredible Jason Tremblay. Many of you have heard her perform here before, uh, but if you haven't, you're in for a great show. And she has put together an incredibly talented group of regional performers. Everybody on this stage is local to the North Shore or Boston, and this is really important to the Cabot. Not only do we put national acts, touring musicians up here, but we have an incredibly deep bench of talent right here in our backyard. And so we started uh, producing shows like this back in March. We produced a show called Muse, a salute to Divas Showcase. And we're gonna be doing that this March once again. So if you like what you hear tonight, you have to come to see the second show that we do in March. Um, but before we get going on that show, I wanna talk to you a little bit about In Focus because this is something we're very, very excited about. So In Focus is a program for middle school kids who are very excited about filmmaking and wanna do it, but they have no idea where to start. It's a program for kids that are looking for a place to fit in, looking for, uh, for a place to exercise and amplify their creative side, and to learn some skills that are gonna help them in the future. It's also open to everyone, regardless of their ability to pay for the program. So I wanted to show you a short video about In Focus um, right behind me. In Focus is a filmmaking program for middle school students created at the Cabin. We focus on giving kids the tools to tell their own stories by teaching them photography, filmmaking, and professional video editing. In Focus helps kids capture and process their emotions and provides a safe place for them to be themselves. We want students from all backgrounds to have the chance to learn from each other, build friendships, and be educated on how they can impact change in their community. We start with teaching photography, and that is high shutter speed, forced perspective, light writing. And then we move into pre-production, teaching the kids how to storyboard, choose their own shot types, and how to come up with their own creative ideas. We move on to production and have them record video and audio for their own films. They get to edit their own movies, including adding music and special effects. At The Cabot, we strongly believe in providing equal access to media and movie making for kids on the North Shore. We offer full scholarships so that cost is not a barrier to participate and all are welcome. We are thankful to have such generous support from our funders to make it all possible. In Focus is lucky to be able to film in The Cabot Theater. It is a beautifully historic 100-year-old building filled with gilded artwork. The kids love filming here and getting the chance to add stories of their own to the historic theater. For me, the most rewarding part of the In Focus program has been able to see kids basically develop their passions, discover what those passions are, and be able to find a supportive environment that we have here to really hone them and find what they love about it. Uh, it's the kind of program that I really wish I had when I was their age because they get to work with their peers and create stuff in their mind that ends up looking really cool. I would recommend this program to any kid who feels like they have ideas but they don't really know how to bring them to life yet. So I'm sure just like how I could relate to this when I was their age, I had all these ideas for things and I wasn't sure how to film anything or how to edit something. Or even if I did, I wasn't sure if I could find people to do that with who would want to do it with me. So I would recommend it to any kid with creativity and a sense of fun and uh, willingness to you know, try and put themselves out there. So we're very proud of that program. Did you see the smiles on those kids' faces? I just, we just love having them here every day after school. We just started the after school program uh, last week and it's just, it's been wonderful. And we've already filled the program. Uh, we ran a summer program and now the after school program is totally full. 
So now we're going to be talking about more funding because we're going to need to add more teachers and more staff to, to help the program grow. It's very, very exciting for us. Um, Desiree McMahon, who you just saw in the video, leads the program and she's doing an incredible job. Desiree's back there filming me right now. Uh, she's a graduate of Lynn Artworks film program, which she attended as a high school student, and she was soon hired there um, to, to work right after she got out of high school and went off to college. And we're just thrilled to have her a part of this team. She has really started this from the ground up. So give it up for Desiree. Thank you. Desiree and Ty and your home program. And I want to thank all of our funders and sponsors. Um, we've had great support from the Van Otterloo Foundation, Someone Else's Child. I know Mike and Diane Christian are here tonight with us. Great friends. Um, Cummings Foundation is sponsoring, so we're really thrilled to have all the support for that program.